Gary Silberman lived with his dad in this New York home when Superstorm Sandy hit. He got $17,000 from FEMA for assistance, but now they say he's got to pay it back. It's, it's a horrible feeling. You know, I'm still recovering from the storm emotionally and financially. And to come back and say, we want all the money we, we gave you back. FEMA says Silberman was staying at his father's house and his father, the homeowner, was limited to one payout, under $7,000, because he did not have the mandatory flood insurance. But Silberman says he was a tenant paying rent, entitled to separate assistance. FEMA said, well, the, when the inspector came here, they didn't see where the entrance was or the part of the house that I live in, but that's because it washed away. It's gone now. According to a search of public records by the Associated Press, FEMA is scrutinizing roughly 4,500 households. It suspects received improper payouts. In a statement, FEMA said, FEMA has worked diligently to put protections in place that safeguard against waste, fraud, and abuse, reduce the instance of improper payments, and maintain a fair and transparent process. It's not in anybody's interest for the federal government to seek repayment from someone who simply doesn't have the funds to repay it. Ann Dibble runs the Storm Response Unit at the New York Legal Assistance Group, a nonprofit law firm that helps low-income people like Silberman. She's concerned that many more people just getting back on their feet could be hit with repayment letters. So somebody who doesn't respond to a letter that they get from FEMA is going to be subject fairly quickly to having their wages garnished. They might have their Social Security garnished. Silberman says he spent the money to rent a new place and replace his belongings and has nothing left to pay FEMA back. His first appeal was denied. He's now hoping FEMA will grant him a hearing so he can plead his case in person. Ted Chaffrey, Associated Press, Lindenhurst, New York.